Hey guys, so in this episode, like I said in the last one, we're gonna start to play a bit with native base. So uh, for the one who come from the web native base, it's for me I think it's like bootstrap for a React Native. They have a lot of good components. So the plan today is to add it. After that, we're gonna jump on the on the create meetup page. So we're gonna just play with the style so today it's much more about the style and the and in the next episode we're gonna start to uh, at least be able to create a new meetup uh, a new meetup and after that in the next one we're gonna start to make a notification with facebook and maybe google and the local one and i'm gonna show you with firebase and everything so today uh, native base really easy to add uh, you do uh, you click here getting started only thing we need to do it's um, install a native base so yarn add native base again here it's my uh, backend you're just running so so we add native base here they have like a perfect Perfect. Now it's working. So now, just for this one, we're gonna close the debugger. I just want to get faster. So now, here what I want to do, it's I want first thing to add uh, an icon here where I'm gonna um, where I'm gonna uh, click and be able to uh, jump on my uh, create meetup page. So I think it just. Uh, it's something we always seen and I'm sure that can uh, be good for us too. So here what I'm gonna do, it's I'm gonna uh, jump on my home screen. I'm gonna jump on my home screen right there. So here, oh, here, all that gonna work, it's the, here in front of my navigation uh, option, I have my headers right there and uh, I, I have access to make like uh, using like the right or the left icon and everything but all you need to make it it's not this way you need to make it as a function so here i'm gonna say so i'm gonna just keep this one here for now and now that's gonna be a function like this so now here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create this as an object con style equal background color like this so now i can remove this thing right there so now just to, uh, we're going to make the right icon. So const right equal here. How I'm going to do this. It's uh, So I'm get, I get weird stuff with the bottom of native base. So that's why I need a view right there first. And I'm going to put button. But now I don't have the button. I need to import it. So I'm going to import button coming from native base. After that here, what I'm going to do, it's I want this button. To be transparent and I want to uh, just run that like right now after that here I'm gonna install import the icon coming from react native base and uh, native base yeah and here I'm gonna put icon I'm gonna close it and here I'm gonna give it a name so I find uh, coming from material design add circle so don't worry if you follow the document, they're gonna show you how you, how you can get and find. Like uh, here, I have my button, but here, so if you click button, you're gonna see each button we can have, and they have the live demo right there. But now my PC is really slow. Yeah, so we see the button and everything, and for the icon, like they have a lot of icon, and you can search it by clicking on. Uh, so the icon coming from your native vector icon, so you just click right there. So now I'm gonna have a, a circle with an add inside that, and I'm gonna use style. And I'm gonna say font size, I'm gonna make it 30, and uh, I'm gonna use, oops, and I'm gonna make color to equal color, white color, like this. So here, because it's a function, now I'm gonna return style, and I'm gonna return right. If I do this and I refresh my screen, One second, it compile again. That's why. Now I'm gonna close this page, and now I get my button right there with the plus. 
So now I want this one when that when I click to get a model coming from the bottom, a bit like Twitter did. So all you do with this, it's by uh, you need first thing to go to where we put the route. So route, and we have the home navigator and, and we have the navigator. So first thing, home navigator for now, I'm gonna just remove swipe enable to be found. I don't want people to go to another route just by clicking, uh, just by swiping, cause I think that gave us some problem when we do this and we get the, the end. So I don't want to be able to um, swipe. After that, inside my navigator, what I'm gonna do, so here in my screen, I'm gonna create another screen called Create Meetup. For now, this one gonna have only a Create Meetup screen. This one gonna be a React component and gonna take a view and a text for now. And the only thing you're gonna do too, it's gonna be a component like that, create meetup screen. And the only thing you're gonna do, return uh, a text with LOL. Now I need to import that to my index. So if you, oh, that folder, a file, index.js, import from and export create meetup screen like this. This is just for make your life easier. That's the on. That's why I do this. Here inside my index, I'm gonna export everything from create meetup. So now inside my navigator, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, import from my uh, my screen folder. I'm gonna import create meetup. So now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna say. Uh, create meetup and I'm gonna put my object with a screen Oops, screen and that's gonna be create meetup screen perfect here like the other uh, navigator we did I'm gonna put a comma here I'm gonna open an, an object and I'm gonna say mod and I'm gonna put modal if I do this nothing gonna happen right there oh what I got the root criminal should declare a screen. Uh, dynamic oh, a screen. I make a typo. Perfect. So now, now I need to have a way to get to my screen. Oh, we got. Will we get that? Go back to home screen component. So now, as you, I'm sure as you think, they make the life really easy for us. The uh, React navigation I talked. It's here inside the header. We have some props. But I'm gonna destruct one of them called navigate. And these props have uh, have a, a way. Just take a name of the, the 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 new screen. So what I'm gonna do here, my button here, I'm gonna create an on press on press uh, event. And the only thing I'm gonna add to it, it's uh, that's gonna be an arrow function. We're gonna say navigate, and I'm gonna put my create meetup put the name i gave to my own navigate in my navigator sorry right there so now if i do this and i click now as you can see i get my model coming so now i have my uh, slide working and i have this one working too perfect so now time to play with the create uh, meetup screen. So this one gonna be a, a really simple one. We're gonna be only a component. We're gonna have a form and nothing more. Uh, nothing more. So we're gonna say static. So we're gonna put navigation option. So this is what uh, React navigation asks. Oh, and this is equal. Here, what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say title and I'm gonna put create a new meetup if I put oh, create a new meetup if I refresh my screen now I refresh here I get my create a new meetup right there after that I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say headers and this one gonna be again a function because I want to have an icon to when I want to close 
and uh, I want to change the style of my um, well, my title and everything. So here I'm gonna import at the top. I'm gonna import colors coming from constant colors. Here, what I'm gonna say it's const style equal const style no else equal uh, background colors. I'm gonna I want it to be red too, so colors colors red colors so now if I do this and I return here my style I'm gonna get at least a red uh, background color right there but I want to change the color of my title so cons title style equal here I'm gonna say color so this is the text so color white colors and now I'm gonna return this one too so if I do this, now I'm going to get my create a new meetup in white. Perfect. But now I want to change this icon to be a X. So I'm going to say cons left. It's a, so a component. We're going to uh, be um, a button coming from React Native Base. Native Base. So a button right there. And in this one, I'm going to have an icon. So don't forget to import icon too. I'm going to say icon, self close component. This one going to have a name. The name going to be, uh, the name going to be MD close. <coughs> and going to have a style. Style going to have a font size of 30. And a color of color that uh, white color. So now here, if I return left, now oh, my button want to be transparent. Now if I do this, now I get my X and I want to, when I click it, I'm going to close this window. So what I'm going to do, it's... Uh, I'm gonna here inside my header. They have another props we can destruct called go back. So, so it's when you go back. So just think about it. This one is coming from the stack navigator. So the stack you push. So you always put another stack on on top of another one, on top of another one. So in the here we're gonna just say on back. So if you follow what we did last time, we just say on press arrow function go back. So if I do this and I refresh this screen right now. Now I'm going to get my go back right there. So now I can open, create a new meetup. That's it. Perfect. So I think for this uh, uh, action of the screen, uh, that worked for us. So, um, for, so I want to make a smaller episode. So this episode is going to uh, close right there. In the next one, we're going to add the form right there, where I'm going to have a date, a date selector and... Uh, too simple uh, feel. So hope you have a good day. Don't don't forget I have the description. I have the all the link in the description for the native base, for the repo and everything. And if you like, just hit the like button. Uh, button, please subscribe, and you can share too if you like what I did. And if you have any question, add this in the comment. Have a good day. Bye.